We are in Inventor 2025 and I have the power pack for Inventor 2025 installed. Let's have a look of our result references functionality uh, that is available in the files tab for assemblies in, uh, in the Gitec power pack for Inventor. As the naming is suggesting, this functionality is helping you to find, download and replace missing components in your assembly. So we all know that sometimes we might receive models with assemblies that are having missing components, especially from the content center. So in order to speed up the process of replacing these components, these components, we have developed this command that is allowing you to scan the assembly, identify them, the missing components, and download them and even replace them in your assembly automatically. How this is working? The moment you press the command, you will have a progress bar that basically is telling us that this functionality is scanning your assembly, it's identifying the components, then it goes to the content center to find the missing components and to download, download them and preparing them to be replaced in the model. If by any chance, for example, you have a, localiza a different localization and you don't have the um, the right uh, information in your content center on your machine, of course the info functionality will not be able to find the, to find the missing references. So, um, for example, if we have a model coming from a different standard, from a different country like Germany, for example, um, but you are in US, if you don't have the libraries from Germany in the content center, the functionality will not be able to identify the missing components and it will not be able to replace them. So, of course, also the time of scanning and downloading it depends on the number of items that need to be searched and downloaded. So, we have this list of uh, items here that I want to replace. And to do that, I need to check the items that I want to uh, replace for my um, from my uh, model. I have the component name, the family, the size, and an option to replace. Yes, replace the the element. I can select all of them, or I can uh, just pick what is of interest for me. It's not necessary that I want to replace all of them. Okay, so I check in this example, I check all the uh, op all the items that are missing, and I click click apply. The moment I click apply, what is happening? Uh, the parts, the components are replaced in the content center from the content center and down put in the assembly with the status green. So I have the, uh, the items replaced. I still have the question mark that uh, is telling me that I have some components that are missing in this uh, assembly, sub-assembly of the main assembly. So what I need to do is basically go to each assembly and I do the same procedure. I go and scan the main the assembly and I just uh, find uh, the missing components. Uh, it's very simple. We just scan again. This time we have less components that are missing and uh, it's just a step-by-step -step, uh, replacement, replacement of the missing references uh, that can be done uh, each time for your assembly. So we wait for the application to finish the scan and we have this time other components that were missing from a different family with a different size and I do the same procedure apply and everything is done okay now the question mark have has disappeared I save the main assembly yes I need to save the file and if I go here I will see that my main assembly doesn't have any more any question mark well I still have in the bigger biggest assembly uh, question mark, but I can fix them uh, if I take one by one um, uh, the assembly. I hope you like it and you test it and you give me your feedback about this new functionality.